Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the past, I have shared with you all that uh, in the 1850s, Wing Chun or the ancient traditional Chinese martial art based on General Qi Ji Guang, there are two levels. The first level is the body condition and the means of fighting. The second level is the combinations or setup. It's an entire thing is tactical. That is for fighting. So you have two levels. Unless one trained in the second level, one really do not know how to fight, period. Today, if you go to look at the gym, like the MMA gym, the Western boxing gym, the Thai boxing gym, they are trained in the second level. Okay. So if you don't have the second level of training, which is, as the general Chi Ji Kuang said, one momentum transform to another momentum to defeat your opponent. If you don't have that level, forget about fighting. Okay. Now, so in the previous, I have shared with you on this uh, long power, short power, uh, the, 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 the creations of momentum in the long range is in the short range and then the body handling those part belong to the first level body conditioning now you're going to ask me so what is about this uh the means of fighting which is a uniqueness of that style in the first level remember until we have this body conditioning and the means of body, we cannot raise up to the second level. So today I'm going to share with you, what is the Wing Chun 1850, the anti-Qing Wing Chun teach in the means of fighting or the uniqueness of the art of the first level. Now, let's get back to the bottom line. So we know that Wing Chun 1850 is a short strike art. Sticking body short strike art. It has four hands, namely the leg, the body, and this two hand. That is the core of the entire universe. So in the means of the Wing Chun, which is in the fundamental level, which is level one, one need to know what is going on with that. So think about this way. The means of fighting of Wing Chun in the fundamental is like what? If you look at karate, they have the sets. Okay. They have their Taiyuku set. They have their Pinan set. They have their Yanzi set and all different sets in karate. And then they have this one step, two step, three step sparring. That is what it is. Same in the Wing Chun 1850 or the ancient uh, uh, Chinese martial art, which is uh, related or linked to the Jana Chi Ji Guang. So, say you learn the Xiu Lim Tao sets of uh, Wing Chun 1850. You know this technique, that technique. You, uh, you say, that, well, I know this is a Tan Sao, this is a Fok Sao, this is a, a Ngao Sao, a hook hand, and so forth, so forth, so forth. So how is it, it to apply like the one-step sparring in the karate, which fulfill the uniqueness of the style? Well, let me open it up for the entire world today. Okay. So we know that the bottom line is you want to get in here for four points, four hands area. 
because only in this area, because this is your territory, you can quote unquote eat your opponent alive if you are really good at it. For example, a BJJ friend will do that. They take you down to the ground and the 1850s sticking body short strike has to do the same thing, but do it differently. So let me explain it to you. You see these two hands? Okay, this two hand, it is like my two hand. This is the middle part of the body. This is the side of the body. So over here is my middle, over here is my side. Okay, so if you have that, if, if, if you see this way, this is my middle, this is two side. Now there are, in the minimum, generally, there are five ways to get in to this position. Of course, you all can guess already. The number one way is from here, you shoot in right away with your keitang, you in straight in the middle. That is one way. The keitang right away, you get his leg, your, your elbow is in, you shoot him out. That's the middle, okay? Just between two hands, like you're gonna go in like this with an angle. The second way is usually what uh, you, you all know, the term, but you don't know how to do it, is a tan sao. Tan sao is not a tan like this. Tan sao, the same thing, it is going close but it's going close in the side from here so this two hand like my two hand like this the sun sao is received and you come in okay so it's a receive and come in so this is just now we are talking about the uh the what do you call it the the keizang, where you go in right away this one the tan sao is to go from side, right? Now, how about folk sao? Folk sao is from side to in. So the same thing from here, I go in, I press down. Okay? Example, you go in, you use a fork to press down my hand. Now you are inside my middle. Okay? So it's from side in. Tan sao is to side. Fuk sao is to side in. Now, there's another hand. It's called ngao sao. This is not huin sao. Huin sao is this. This is ngao sao. So what is ngao sao? Ngao sao is if he face me this way. And this is very strong side. Very strong. Very strong side. I'm going to use ngao sao. Okay, to get to his side. From the middle to get to the side, that is ngao sao. Okay, now another hand is going straight in the side is what? Lap sao. Okay, so you have five ways. This is the most basic. Number one is straight in. Number two, your tan sao is a side way. Number three is from side to in. Number four is from inside to outside door. Number five is right away you, you go in from the side with the lap sao. Okay? So all this hand, you say do a tan. Tan means this. Tan doesn't mean I stand here and doing a tan sao. Okay, I want to do a folk sao. Folk sao is not here. Folk sao is here already. Because if I do not end up here, I do not have advantage. I do a folk sao here. He have another hand. He can shoot me. Okay, you go here. You have four hands. You only left with one, and one is under your control. That is the play of the streaking body short strike, the basic, the means of 
fighting of Wing Chun. Okay. So all it, it is again, it is not Tan Sao, you stand here to Tan to folk. Okay. And then you do a, 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 a straight punch, this one to the center line, or you do a Ngao Sao here, or do you Lap Sao here, or Lap Sao here. It's not that you get in. Your Tan Sao and all those things is the means to get in because the most important is your body you need to get in. Okay? So this is how it is. So, like the karate one step sparring, you always want to train. You always want to train. You always want to train how to get in. How to get in. Of course, if you're really striking, when you turn in, you already go there, right? You fall in, you already go there, right? Your body slam him. That's the KO. Okay? That's what it is. The means of fighting of Wing Chun 1850 or short strike art similar to the karate one step sparring. Only like yesterday or the, the other day before, you have that uh, ability to handle your momentum. How to generate that in the long distance, in the short distance, handle all your joint of the body be able to breathe, you'll be able to do reverse breathing to shoot out your power, control the impact, and then you can practice this five way to get in. And only after you have this, you'll be able to go up to the combinations. And the combinations is based on sparring because it is about tactical setup. If you don't do that, forget about it. Okay, nobody is going to stand there doing block and all those kind of stuff. All this is risky business. If he's faster than you, stronger than you, or as fast or as strong as you, you're going to get stuck here. That's why you never see Say for example, you look at a karate guy, okay, a karate guy. You come in and throw him a punch. What will he do? Will he block you? Or he just go around you? That's what it is. No block, no parry, you just go in. And of course, it's very different than round kick, which is get in to KO you. The short strike is going here with the forehand all activate. So with today's video, I share with you in the past few days already. The body conditioning, the means of fighting, how it looked like, how it was trained. How you need to be able to handle your momentum generations, your, your impact handling, your breathing. It never is standing like here using your hand techniques. There's no hand techniques here. That is the entire body going in. And then when you do combinations, and then when you do combination, That is other level, and then you can do sparring. Okay. So right now I don't want to give you the combination stuff and 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 and, and confuse you, but get this thing straight. Okay. So we do it this way, clean, clear cut in uh, from the United States of America. This is this video is like my pattern. Stamp a time stamp on it. You look at past 130 years. Those uh, those uh, those uh, anti, uh, those Qing, Wing Chun, does it have this kind of stuff? 
So it has to be like this. Like yesterday, somebody in a forum in Asia saying that I was I'm stealing the snake crane Wing Chun's uh, to verify or to support the uh, Ermei. I told him this. Show me your history evidence. Show me your scientific, like I show you all here, you all know. Can you handle your heart rate? In the Nerjuachi, can you handle your anaerobic, aerobic, reverse breathing? Do you have that technology? So that's the bottom line. It's just like in the Silicon Valley when people say, oh yeah, you know, you violate my pattern. I say, well, sue me, go to court. Show me your pattern, okay? That's how it has to be now. Because there are too much scam artists there, out there. So this is what it is. So you want to be good at this, you will be like what? Think about like the BJJ friend, get in. The wrestling friend, they can get in. And you want to be proficient with all this getting in. So this is what I like to share with you, okay? This is an education and a culture channel. We speak with evidence and science, historical and scientific evidence. We don't make bullshit claim, uh, uh, claim okay? So is this today what I share with you is like a pattern. Nobody ever seen before, so I release it, okay? So hopefully those snake crane people know what they are doing, okay? Mind their own business, stop to make big claim because this is the United States of America. We base everything on evidence, not talk. <laughs>